Hello everyone, I'm your host Lokendra Kumar and today we will be discussing host parasite relationships. The name of the topic is relationship between the host and the parasite or in many books you will see the topic is written in the in the other forms like ecology of the host parasite relationships. But one way or the other, the meaning remains the same. We want to understand what is the relationship between host and parasite and what are the basic features of that relationship. As you can see, I have explained parasite and what are the features of the parasite. We have also discussed the examples for the ecto and endoparasites. I have uh, gone into not that much detail, but a little bit more detailed into the host and the parasite, why host is important, why parasite is important in this particular video. So I hope that this particular video will be helpful for you to understand this ecology, understand this relationship, and uh, I'll bring more videos in my in my next uh, video lectures. So please stay tuned if you if you want to study parasitology. Please do comment on the video if you want to, uh, you know, maybe learn about some specific parasites. So we'll try to cover those as well. All right. Without any delay, let's jump on to the topic. All right. All right. Okay. So I was thinking about this specific topic, which is parasitology, studying various parasites. So I thought, you know, I should start another video series on parasitology. I have already made few few videos. I, I hope that you have seen those videos. And now the topic is, today's uh, topic is uh, host parasite relationships. In, in many books, you will see and this, the topic is also written as ecology of the host parasite relationship. Anyways, so in that one, first we need to understand parasite. Parasite, as we have already discussed, is an organism which lives in or upon another organisms. See, that is important. You can say in or upon means parasite can live inside or it can live on the surface. So based on these two specific terms, we divide the parasite into two, two different categories. But before that, we need to understand what parasite does to the host host parasitic relationship they relationships they are made most importantly for the food or the nutrients so parasite is acquiring nutrients from the host without providing any benefit benefits to the host means this is just the one-sided relationship suppose this circle is the host and it is only providing the benefits in one direction it's not the two-way direction where one organism is providing the benefit to other and in return the, the organism is also providing benefits to the host but it's it's just one single-sided relationship and only only host is you know depleting its lot of resources on parasite so parasite is getting benefits that's why we also call it as a one-sided relationship where only one side is getting benefit from the other organism other organisms parasitic infections that's why we call them parasitic infections because host host will be destroyed it will it will get destroyed and a lot of symptoms will emerge from that anyways so we have two different categories one ectoparasite and another one is the endoparasite so in that one we will discuss here the examples Acto means surface. That's why you need to remember this particular word. And second one is the endo that is inside. So ecto means the surface, not inside the body of the host. Means the parasites, they are not inside the body of the host. They are living on the surface. Second, endoparasites means within. That's why, you know, you see the definition of the parasite where I have written lives in or upon the another organisms. So within. If the word within is there and means they are present inside the body, we can say the parasite is the endoparasite. So what are the different examples for ectoparasites and endoparasites? Just try to imagine and see if you can, can come up with some of the answers for ecto as well as for endo. Ectoparasites, the example is various fleas that we encounter are the ectoparasites. They are not present inside the body they are living in it, around us uh, they, they if they want to acquire nutrients from the host 
of animal or any other host they will come closer to the host and get the nutrition second one is the endoparasite the example is leishmania leishmania that can cause some of the devastating uh, parasitic infections that live inside the inside the body so we can call it as a endoparasite so these are some of the important features of the ecto and endoparasites and now another important thing that is um, that is um, playing major role in this relationship is the host we have studied the parasite host host we have different types of hosts hosts but i will not discuss those here uh, the role of the host is to provide nutrients to pro provide food second shelter third favorable environment for various things including reproduction because parasites will divide into different progenies so you need an environment where parasite can can divide multiply have new organisms uh, and then the cycle goes on so host is going to provide all those benefits to the parasites that is why it is one sided relationship where nothing is getting in return for the host what host is getting is the is the damage maybe another thing maybe it can it can get some of the memory uh, especially from the endoparasites some of the memories that can uh, you know generate an immune system uh, which will protect the immune system, which will protect the host from the another attack of the parasite but anyways that's a separate issue there is no benefit that is getting acquired and now you will ask that why this relationship is establishing uh, at the first place why this relationship is there you know why host is allowing the parasite to have that relationship so answer is host is not interested in this particular relationship host is not interested parasite is the one who is trying to force the host for this relationship and then once parasites establish this particular relationship then it will be hard for the host to remove the parasite the host will try to remove but during that particular process parasite will cause a lot of damage to the host so these are some of the important features of host parasite relationships we have studied the ecology of the host parasitic relationship not in too much detail but the introductory part this is one of the video lecture in that series so i'll come come with more videos and i'll try to clear the concepts here i have said i have uh, you know tried to show you what is the host what is the ecto endoparasites we have we have seen the examples some of the examples malaria parasite which is plasmodium you have four different types of plasmodium your plasmodium ovale plasmodium malaria plasmodium vivax plasmodium falciparum all these are uh, the types of the the endoparasites so you can see you know slowly slowly we will go deep into the topics but first i i do want to get feedback from all of you that if you like the videos uh, if you want to watch the similar topics then please write in the comment section and do let me know what kind of topics uh, you are interested in what specific topics that you want to uh, you know have the video on so i'll try to Uh, make the videos on those topics so i'll meet you in my next video where we will discuss uh, similar topics similar uh, we'll discuss similar concepts in the area of parasitology in this particular video channel you'll find many many different series and uh, you know lot of different topics related to biosciences so if you are interested in those topics then please explore the channel and and watch those videos i'm sure they're going to help you in your studies one way or the other all right that's all for today i'll meet you in my next video take care